Hey, what's up everybody? In this video I'm going to show you how to get rid of the watermark in your theme footer. Uh, it's pretty easy. You'll need Chrome or Firefox to do this. Um, first thing we need to do is inspect it. So go highlight uh, the, the watermark. Inspect. A little pop's going to come out. So now I can see my, my watermark is going to be found under uh, the materialist um, and then with the, the link to the materialist portfolio. Also, I, if I want to get rid of the uh, Powered by WordPress, um, I can see it's right here. So this is what I'll be looking for when I go to the back end of my website. Or into the, the appearance code. Alright, so once you get that code noted down, go up to your dashboard. Appearance. Editor. And right now I'm in the parent theme. Um, so I recommend creating a, a child theme, but for this case I'm just going to do it in the parent theme. But the reason you want to do a child theme is because any changes you make in the parent theme, if the theme developer updates their theme, it will re-add the watermark. So create a child theme, import the theme footer information onto your child theme from your parent theme, and then make these changes. But for now I'm just going to do it in the parent theme. So I go down and I find theme footer. This is where my watermark is because in the footer, if it was in the header, you would go to theme header. Um, so I'm going to be looking for that the code we found earlier when we inspected. And I can see it's right here, right? It says uh, site footer, class info, right? And here's the, the link we saw earlier. So what I'm going to do is, well, I want to keep this Power by WordPress. So I'm just going to get rid of this guy right here. Delete. Update file. Then I'm going to open up a new one. If I go down to the footer, it's going to be gone. Now I could have deleted the Powered by WordPress if I wanted to, or I could put whatever I want there. Uh, powered by Active Code if I wanted to, right? So if I go back, I could do. Um, I could type in Powered by Active Code, or really anything I want here. Um, but yeah, that's how you get rid of the watermark. You can add your own footer information. You can modify the current footer information. Pretty straightforward. Um, I wouldn't recommend messing around with this too much. It could close out your website. Um, so if you're going to do this, make sure you, you really know what you're doing. Or have uh, an FTP up so that if something does go wrong, you can re-upload the information, the, the footer code information, and um, start all over again without any issues. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.